This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate fly sim hardware solution. Featuring the Orion Hotels, current and future configurations. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. We're cracking on with our series of videos looking at which military elements could take on damage or put out of action a relatively modern US carrier group. When we say relatively modern, we mean in the last 20 years. Here is our master document showing all the ones that we've tried, some of them failed, some of them succeeded, all of your valued viewer requests. Today we're trying 11 silkworms. Silkworms are, let me just go show you in case you don't understand what they are. This, this is a silkworm launcher. Originally these were Russian missiles and then they went Chinese and annoyingly it doesn't show the missile. That is a launcher and it's a thumping great anti-shipping missile. It's fired from a launcher like this. The actual missile is going to be called a Styx missile. Relatively old, relatively stupid, but certainly not obsolete. You will lock onto a target with a silkworm search radar like this fire the missile in the rough direction of the ship. The Styx missile then has its own onboard radar which will lock onto a vessel and you can't really control which vessel it is. So you, there have been many friendly fires with this. It will lock onto a ship and attack that ship and try and destroy that ship with a big warhead. So the role play is going to be this and this again is probably pretty realistic. We've got a US carrier group here. Let's quickly go through the carrier group. Nimitz class nuclear supercarrier in the middle with some support vessels plus on the rear two times Tyco cruisers on the flanks four times Aegis destroyers at the front two times frigates as well as submarines forward and aft in the air we've got two times cap equipped FA-18Cs up and ready to do whatever they need to do a E-2 Hawkeye and we've got 30 FA-18C Hornet ready to go on this carrier, ready to launch with air-to-ground munitions. I know the supercarrier carries more aircraft, but actually ready to launch, ready to go, pilots ready to go. In terms of formation, there to there, 15 nautical miles, there to there, 10 nautical miles. So everything roughly realistic for a average supercarrier excursion group. They are transiting through the mouth of the Strait of Hormuz, so they are particularly vulnerable. And of course, they have done this at least twice in reality, in real life, possibly more. Next. For the bad guys today, we've got, first of all, a distraction force. We've got three times Iranian destroyers. I think they're actually frigates, but they say destroyers on there for some reason. They're there and they will attack the carrier, but they are purely there to distract the sensors and the crews of the ships. 70 nautical miles away, the rules that we put in are that if a bad element could be detected potentially, then they have to start 70 miles away. And that's why these guys are 70 nautical miles away. If part of the hostile elements could have been undetected, like the silkworms here, then they can start 15 miles away. And so we've actually got these silkworms southwest of southeast of Kesham Island from the carrier release of 20 nautical miles. Now, I know what you're saying, what everyone will be saying at this point is, whoa, hang on, silkworm batteries are pretty big and they could easily be spotted by CIA imagery and whatnot. And yeah, I agree with you completely. So you're going to have to use your imagination. Let's just say somehow the Iranians on Kesham Island managed to disguise all of these silkworms. I don't know how you would do it, but, you know, let's try and make a video out of it and have some fun. So that brings us on to the next question. How many silkworms, batteries, could the Iranians field? So we started looking for documents and we found historical documents from 1980 onwards where we could actually see declassified documents of the purchase of silkworms and sticks from other countries into Iran. And we counted 48 we managed to find. At that point, we discovered that Iran could now make their own Styx missiles. So essentially, we got to that point, we'd say they can have infinite, and which is quite scary. We've put 60 here. Now, we have to have a limit because, you know, if we go too many, we're just going to crash the PC and we're going to start irritating ourselves. So we're going to try 15 batteries, which will include 66 zero silkworm launchers and silkworm missiles. In terms of the intelligence of what's going on today or what we've set the simulation to do, the sticks or the silkworms are set to do nothing. That means they'll be on a default mode where what I would consider as realistic as possible, where they will just detect a ship and fire at it. That means they'll detect the nearest ships, more or less, these guys here, and fire at them. Remember, they can't actually fire at a certain vessel. They can fire in the direction of a vessel. Then when the stick missile turns on its own radar, it'll, it'll go for whatever it wants to go for. Probably the nearest ones, but in real life, that's the best we, they could do, we think. In terms of the US guys, the carrier group, as ever, is simply ordered to transit through the Strait of Hormuz and into the Persian Gulf. They're not going to be manoeuvring in any way cleverly because... 
we want to keep it the same on each mission that we do they're going to be moving at 17 knots as a group and finally the air assets the airborne cap group of one ai and one client that's simba say hello simba hello it's going to be on general cap with general cap weapons and they're going to be tasked to go and immediately investigate what's going on here obviously the role play will be they'll spot that these guys are silkworms which take a while to fire by the way they've got to be you know set up and fired they're going to take a little while as soon as that happens, then these guys are coded to start uh, start spawning in and taking off. That is 30 Hornets armed with generic air-to-ground weapons. And they're tasked to max afterburner over to here and start destroying them. So that's as realistically as we figured we could set that up. And that's it, Simba. Any questions before we start work? Nope. Three, two, one, simulate. And everything's off and going. First thing I'm going to do is check out. We haven't run this through, so we don't know actually what's going to happen. We like to keep it kind of random like that. And... Oh, and I've put the uh, missiles in the wrong way around. So that's excellent news. So this should be interesting. Are they? Yes, they're turning. Good. Okay. Panic over. Uh, the surge radars, which are back over there slightly. These are not a realistic layout. Obviously, you wouldn't set them out like that. But, you know, I just wanted to make it look cool for you, the valued viewers. You wouldn't see much if they were just scattered about over the thing. You see the battery is all turning around. Look at that. Oh, the first sticks are off. Look at these. Wonderful. Right. Oh, yep. Right, okay, I'm getting Simba. notifications. Okay, that means information has gone back to the carrier group. Whoa, here they go. Uh, to start spawning, that means break that. These guys, if I can get them on, are going to start taking off. Here they go, yes, look, the, the crews getting ready to uh, launch the Hornets. All armed with just dumb bombs because that's going to be easiest to get the AI, AI to get everything to work. They'll be launching immediately. And what are the sticks doing? And already the SM2s are out, uh, being fired by the Aegis. Uh, guys, I really don't know what to, I'm supposed to look at at this point, so let's just... That is six missile value viewers. So, ooh, right, the SM2 is already taking them at a distance of break, uh, 20, uh, 10 miles. So we're going to look at the full power of Aegis integration, uh, detection, and SM2 we have here. We do not have SM6. Lots of stuff going on here. I can see loads of those being launched. Well, some are going to get through, I think. This is all about saturation at the end of the day. Over, you know, outpowering the amount of radars and missiles they can fire. And I reckon, I don't know, distance of five miles. They've got overlapping fire from the SM2s. Wow, look at that. Oh my Jesus. H. Okay, the Sea Wizards are out. And I'm died, I think it died. Yes, he did. It got hit by something. Running in. All right, take him out, sir. The boys are there taking out the launchers now. Whoa! See where's up? Rolling frames up, or whatever the heck that is. Rolling frames up from the carrier. Oh! Oh! Wow! We're really doing very well. They're, they're getting absolutely nullified. It's just Aegis SM2. It is literally unbeatable. These are not stealthy, these missiles. These are pretty much 1960s missiles. Oh, right, uh, relatively easy for... Uh... Oh, one's got food to carry out. We've got a rolling airframe coming in. It's missed. Sea Wiz coming out. Rolling airframe out. More Sea Wiz, rolling frame, just in time. Jesus. Oh, another one's coming in. Ah, oh, taken out. This is just genuinely impressive. These defensive abilities of these carriers are absolutely ridiculous. Pass number two. Okay. Wow, I don't even know what shot him. Oh, it just... Oh, hello. Frigate's dead. Look, it's got too... Whoa, <laughs> it's right, I paused it. I got too excited. Uh, more coming in. This is absolutely amazing. They're just getting taken out from every angle. Nothing's hit the carrier yet. I can just see missiles, SM2 flying around. Oh man. Genuinely impressive. Oh, I think we're I think we're done. That's it. It's done. Skimba. Did you get any launchers? Oh loads of launchers destroyed. Well, oh yeah. Launch. Go on, let's get a picture of you going in then. None of the missiles got through as you saw. They did take out a frigate. No, a destroyer. They took out a destroyer. Look. Go on then. Let's see strafey, strafey. Oh, still sticks firing. Wow. Let's 
harder than it looks, isn't it? Okay, they're all empty launches. They're all empty launches. Uh, the carrier defeated it with relative ease. Bearing in mind that is basically best case Iranian situation where they all fire, you know, simultaneous as, as they can. Uh, I say let's get out and let's double the amount of sticks. I want to see a carrier blowing up today. Uh, out you go, please, Simba. Right, Valley viewers, we've du we've doubled the amount of sticks to 120. To be honest, I think it's a bit stupid at that point. I mean, look at that. Could they really do that? Probably not, but. Uh, you know, let's just see what it takes to blow up a carrier. Three, two, one, go. Uh, I forgot to turn them around again, so I think I have to do their little turny thing. Oh my goodness gracious me, that is, not going to lie, a lot of missiles. Look at them turn. I am turning. This is going to look good. It's HY2 variant, guys. That is the Chinese variant. I think it was originally Russian in their design and manufacture. But then again, most stuff Russian ends up becoming Chinese. And off they go! In you go, Simba, do your magics. That Dundu Dundu would be a lot of missiles about to go up. Yep, starting to fire. Look at that. I can hear your radar going off. Look at that, valued viewers. Have you ever seen anything like that before? Let's have a look on the map. Ah, oh, my goodness! This is ridiculous. Let me see if we can even do that. see them from one another. Speed of 550 knots. Oh man, I can see them. Oh, it's beautiful. So many sticks. Massive rocket motors. I think the liquid rocket, but I understand being corrected. Oh, look at that network working. Absolutely amazing. Going for the old saturation attempt, boys. Every time I look back, a few more. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. Look at it. It's going to be Sea Wizards soon. Of course, the SN2s have the ability to change target mid-course. Where are we even going for? Oh, there's some outline frigate we're going for, apparently. I don't really know what to watch. There's so much happening now. Oh, missed. Yeah, it's worked. I think saturation. Oh, maybe not. Oh, uh, 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 probably the carrier. There we go. Carriers become unclickable. Oh, the server's going down, I think. Frame rate's dropping. Something hit a carrier. We've got a we've got a blown up bog. Rams are going out, or ESSMs or whatever they are. All this is still launching. Look at all those explosions. Those are gonna make it through! Oh my god! Oh everything's blowing up! The general alarm's going off! Oh, oh, that's the carrier's dead. Carrier's dead. Wow, we oversaturation. Even a modern system like this can only take so many missiles. Doosh, doosh, doosh. And remember, they weren't even aiming at the carrier. The, the, the missiles chose their own targets when they were airborne. Oh, poor carrier. Now, this is going to give Iran ideas now, isn't it? We shouldn't, shouldn't keep making these videos, really. Oh. <laughs> There's a few left to go. Oh, dearie me. Uh, right. Can only apologise, Mr. Carrier. Whoa. The F-18s are taking off. Through the fire. Oh, he was taking off. Until a thousand pounds of TNT just... Wow, have you ever seen so much destruction? I hate to say it guys, but that carrier has just been atomized. That's also, the, the, the guys are asking for more, but that's the limit of my PC. I'm down to about 20 FPS. It'll just kill, kill the PC anymore. Bound to about 10 now, it feels like. Look, I've never seen a carrier sink that. Oh my 
God, why does that stuff like that keep happening? Still firing his rams, look. It's going down. How are you doing on the cast, Simba? Uh, I've run out of bullets. <laughs> of course you have. Well, you know what to do now. Put your uh, face into it, because you're not going back to the carrier. I can tell you that. Where I was going to say, if they took out the carrier, where do I you're land? Not, you're not going back. So, see how many you can take out. Wow, that's a lot. So if you can launch your Amrams into them, I doubt we can, but they've all fired anyway, so... Get some retribution! Boom! Well done. You ended up in the sea like that's so funny. Okay, valid viewers. So, it turns out, if 120... I reckon 100 would have got through, but 120 sticks were fired, not simultaneously, but, you know, realistically as, as much as you could, uh, simultaneously, you know, in real life, then it will absolutely obliterate a carrier group. But let's go see the damage that was done to the carrier group. Oh, look at that, the whole front shield is gone. Destroyer gone, destroyer gone, frigate gone, carrier gone, and if I've got health bars, nothing else got hit. It was just picked off all the stuff on the side, including the carrier, and it was absolutely just mullered. And these guys just can't get up in time to, to stop them, you know? There's, there's not much they can do. But technically, those sticks can be shot down by F-18s and F-14s, but again, getting up quick enough to scramble and, and get up is, you know, it's just it's just not realistic, and this is a, a weak point. So, uh, best pretend we didn't see that. And anything you want to add, Simba? Nope. It was fun. I hope you enjoyed that, and see you later.